Hey everybody, today we are talking about HVAC screen walls. What they are, why they're important, and what you need to know if you already have them or are thinking about installing them. HVAC screen walls are built on commercial roofs to hide AC units and other HVAC equipment. They make your building look cleaner and more professional, and they help protect equipment from the elements. So beyond aesthetics, HVAC screens offer real functional benefits. They can reduce noise from rooftop equipment, they help shield units from wind and debris, and in many cities they require to meet local building codes. You can see this, this current metal screen wall is due to be replaced. It's been painted once, but it's gone through a hailstorm. But more importantly is it's, it's noisy. This is one of the downfalls of metal screen walls is they make a lot more noise than say concrete or fiberglass panels. This is the most prevalent kind of screen wall that we run into. And here you can see one of the noise making problems is the lap seams are not screwed. They have screws in the panels, but not in the laps. So any flex makes it move. And you'll see up here, we also have a cap that helps to shed water so it doesn't run behind the panel and rust out the fasteners. So let's come over here and I'll show you one of the main reasons people use screening panels or screen walls rather. So behind that wall is a large HVAC unit that you would be able to see from the parking lot below or potentially from the street out there. So these just add a layer of invisibility to your systems. Nobody really wants to see a bunch of ugly old AC units up on their roof. When we have a masonry screen wall, we have a lot better acoustics the wind isn't shaking and rattling this all to pieces. It's nice and solid. In the event of a heavy windstorm, you could actually come up here and hide from a tornado. Maybe not. But it is better. It is stronger, but it is probably twice as expensive to do masonry versus metal. And finally, let's go look at fiberglass. This roof has it all. So this is an aluminum framed fiberglass panel screen wall. You can see we can operate these doors to access the unit. The downside is super noisy and vulnerable to hail and debris views. Check out these holes in the corner of the panels. But they do offer some versatility for airflow. If, you're, if your unit's starving, you can open up some panels and let some air in. And this one is actually mounted directly to the frame of the unit, as you can see here. Check out that aluminum framework in there. So this is a very serviceable enclosure. When you're selecting a rooftop HVAC screen, consider four things. One, aesthetic preference, how it matches your building's design. Number two, budget. Material and labor cost vary widely. Number three, local regulations. Some cities require specific heights or materials. And number four, functionality, like noise reduction or security features. A professional roofer can help you balance all of these to get the right system for your property. Finally, here are some of our most common questions. Can screens affect HVAC efficiency? Yes, if they're not designed properly, poor airflow can cause your HVAC system to work harder and waste energy. Do they need maintenance? Absolutely. Most screens need periodic checks for rust, damage, or loose fasteners. So one of the biggest items that's neglected on these screen walls is actual maintenance. And here you can see we've got rust forming in many different spots on the actual structural framework. Eventually these posts, the welds are gonna rust. You're gonna have structural failure at some point and they'll need to be replaced. So the best way to stay ahead of that is every year come up and do an inspection or have your roofer do an inspection, take pictures of the rust, get it wire brushed off, primed and painted. Just stay up on the maintenance. We'll keep you free from long-term headaches like structural failures and or leaks. So here you can see we've got rust on the corner here. We've got pitting on the, on the post. And there's a good example right there in that corner. You can see the amount of rust pitting going on here. This really needs to be wire brushed and primed so that it doesn't rust through and cause a, a future leak behind all the sealants because once it gets through that metal, the water goes down into the system. The good news is reputable roofing companies include workmanship warranties and inspections that cover these issues. If your roof has an NDL warranty, 
or no dollar limit warranty through the manufacturer, your contractor should review screen conditions during annual inspections so you stay worry free. Another one, can screens help with pest control? Yes, when designed correctly, they can block birds, rodents, and pests from nesting near or inside the HVAC unit. So whether you're improving appearance or meeting compliance, it's worth getting them right the first time. So with all that being said, improper installation is a big issue we see. Common problems include anchoring screens directly to the roof, which causes leaks, using poor quality fasteners that rust out, or skipping sealant pockets altogether, and using pipe wraps. Always make sure the screen is tied to the deck structure, not just the surface. These screens are secured directly to the roof by welding into the structural trusses. Once welded, pourable sealant pockets are installed around each penetration to make it watertight and prevent leaks. That's key. If it's not sealed right, it's not protected. What we have here is how we terminate our wind wall into the roof. This can be done several ways, but the best way to do this is a pitch pan. So the way that the pitch pan works, this one is a two-piece pitch pan. There are one-part pitch pans available where you would have to cut a line so that you could get around whatever you're terminating. However, these two pieces allow you to not only have it up to this wide, you can cut it in along any of these lines to adjust the size but you're gonna come around whatever you're trying to terminate. And you see this one obviously was cut to about here to allow that to be a smaller, not use as much filler. But once you have yours cut to the proper size, you come with your other piece, you're gonna weld them together at your flanges and you're gonna weld them down to the roof. At that point, you're going to take your TPO primer, you're going to go all around the inside of this and the second that it's tacky to the touch is when you will pour in your pourable sealer. This is a one-part pourable sealer. It's available from several different manufacturers. This one in particular, I believe, is Carlisle. That's how you would install a pitch pan, and that's also how you would properly terminate a wind wall. The previous installation had used TPO pipe wrap, so they wrapped a membrane around here, put a clamp and some sealant. You can see all the sealant it took to actually try and make that watertight. Here we've ripped all that out, installed the pourable sealant pocket, primed it, and filled it with flexible, pourable sealer. So this remains pliable over many, many years. So in conclusion, HVAC screening is more than just a cosmetic upgrade. It's a smart investment for your business. It improves appearance, reduces noise, protects your equipment, and keeps your property compliant. If you're thinking about adding HVAC screens or just want your existing setup inspected, give us a call or visit our website. You can fill out a quick contact form and our team will reach out and help you get started. Please like and subscribe. Leave some comments for us. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. I've got the camera right now because Cameron, my marketing man, is afraid of ladders. He's afraid of heights. I know, shocking, right? We're in a roofing company. But we're gonna we're gonna see how he does coming down this ladder. And for all you OSHA fanatics out there, I am keeping three points of contact at all time. You just can't see it. There he is. Let's go, big baby. <laughs> Come on, you got it. Don't be scared. Act like you've been on a roof before. There you go. That was, that was real, that was easy. Big boy. <laughs>